Welcome back to the Watchpoint Post Show, everybody. It's Puckett. You see my good buddy Mitch is squeezing closer to me <laughs> because we have to make room for a god on the desk. It's gods from the Toronto Defiant. <laughs> I've been expecting you, gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to my lair. I was not expecting a cat. Where did you even find that? <laughs> he just came to me. <laughs> he came to you? Of course it did. His name is Joffrey. <laughs> Joffrey the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just end the show right there? I don't know what else we want out of this. Guys, you're amazing. Uh, I love what you've been doing on social media. We covered a little bit at the half. But for anyone who hasn't been around Overwatch since the beginning, I want to highlight kind of your history and how you got to this place right now. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about your career and the heroes specifically that you've played since the beginning of your career to where you're at now on D.Va? Well, it's a pretty long story. I, uh, since I started in closed beta, so I kind of started just playing whatever I liked. And at the time, that was Roadhog. So Roadhog like, really sparked my love for the game. So back then, I was just playing Roadhog. And I noticed something that every time I played McCree, I got destroyed. I was the worst McCree. <laughs> okay. I was the worst McCree ever. So it was my worst hero. And so I randomly started grinding McCree just to get better at it. Like I always like picking my worst hero. And so I started grinding McCree and actually got noticed. And that was when I joined my first team and started scrimming. So since then, I kind of was floating around in different roles and kind of ended up on D.Va because once again, I felt like it was one of my worst heroes. And so I just ended up playing it and falling in love with it. So that's just pretty much where I'm at. So you went off tank to star DPS on hit scan back to the tank role? Yeah, well, actually, I went from like DPS to tank on Roadhog and then to like main tank. Uh, and then I went to like, I was like DPS before that and then now on to off tank and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy where I'm at. I don't think I'm going <laughs> to go anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, but like I said, you've been around for the entire time that Overwatch has really been out. We've hung out in China, we've hung out in Germany, now we're doing it here. I mean, like, tell me from your perspective what it, it's been like, because I think a lot of players that are currently in the Overwatch League didn't have to go through nearly as much as you did, not nearly as many teams, as many trials, as many months. Well, honestly, it's like, a lot of it was necessary for me to be here. Uh, you guys didn't see me in the first season of Overwatch League, and part of that because I just wasn't really ready yet. Like, it really took me some time to, like, get in the right headspace and be in a good situation to be ready to play. So to be honest, like everything that I've had to go through to get here has been necessary in my mind. Well, we're going to the Atlanta homestand next. Obviously, uh, you saw the Dallas homestand and that, that big, you know, spectacle that it was. What are you expecting to get out of the Atlanta homestand? Um, to be honest, I'm kind of hoping I get booed a little bit. You want to get booed? <laughs> nice. Yeah, because I kind of want to be like the, you know, the antagonist. You know, I want to be the villain well, a little bit. Why do you be the heel? I'm down yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to walk out there, maybe wear some shades or something, just walking on stage, and like they're like booing at him, like, huh? What's it? You know what I mean? Like hit him with one of those, like just to make, just to get him going. Right, so you've heard it. Make sure you boo gods in Atlanta. <laughs> please, please boo gods. <laughs> beyond beyond see. getting booed, is there anything in particular you want to do in Atlanta? There's a top though. Honestly, like, because <laughs> Pog is in the chat for that. <laughs> Open to sponsorships well, is hexagram. <laughs> <laughs> well, before Overwatch League, I obviously had traveled and played before in uh, other countries, like you mentioned. And one of the coolest things is going to a new place that you haven't been to, at least for me in a while, and seeing like the fans that are like there, like the actual people that are from that place and seeing them and just like, it's not just a number on a stream. These are actually people here, like cheering for you and, and watching you play. That's like something that it's, it's like magical to experience that. It's honestly. a game changer. Yeah. We, we've been looking at some of your tweets. We had a, a halftime, I don't know whether you noticed, where we were looking through some of them. Well, where do you get the ideas for these nuts tweets? <laughs> honestly, they, they come to me, and then there's like a voice in my head that says, you have to tweet this. And then <laughs> sure that's once, I, once it's out there, like it's good that goes away. Okay, I've been, I've been looking forward for two years, gods. I haven't seen you for two years. I've been wanting to clap back at you for this which you tweeted during Overwatch Contenders Season Zero in 2017. <laughs> you tweeted directly at me, you coward. Are you dweeb serious with these shirts? What is this about, God? It's a subtweet as well. Yeah, really? starting beef. <laughs> Bro, what are you wearing? Why is it backwards? No, I, I totally one. agree. They were wearing them yeah. backwards. They, they kept rotating down. It was a terrible dweebs. bit. Yeah. It kept you watching the entire day of Contender Season Zero. They were long days. I'm, I'm going to defend myself and say you deserved it. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Well, guys, uh, every time we have a show, I like to play some games with our guest. You're now a contestant. Let's just call you contestant for the rest of the show. Are you ready for this? Yes. Today, we are going to be looking at gods, since that's your name. We found some of our favorite gods throughout the world and throughout history. 
And it's going to be up to you to identify exactly what this person is the god of. Our first one is a name you may be familiar with. You may have seen him on the stage today. Janus is it A, the Egyptian god of thunder, B, the Roman god of beginnings and doorways, C, the Greek god of earth shatters, or D, Roman god of primal rage? Uh, I'm going to guess A. A, Egyptian god of thunder. Wrong! It's Roman God of Beginnings and Doorways! You should have <laughs> known that one. Yeah, Come on! Also, Roman God of getting Discord and getting blown up really quickly. That was like quickly. a 50 50 that was like, those are two throwaway answers. Uh, okay, all well, right, you're next. All right, you guys share a hairstyle. Morpheus, uh, A, he's a <laughs> Greek god of sleep and dreams. Uh, B, Greek god of defense matrix. C, Egyptian god of relaxation. D, the Roman god of Keanu Reeves. Are you asking me if this is Keanu Reeves' god name? Because I'm pretty sure he is yeah. actually. We, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's true. I wasn't insinuating that. Please, please. Come I'm, I'm the god, god of Defense Matrix, so it's only A or C. That's it. It's uh, going to be Sleep and Dreams or Relaxation. Both great. Sleep and Dreams. Oh, he's got it. Nailed it. it. That was pretty easy to be One fair. One for two. One for two. Josh, you're up. All right, here we go. Uh, are you, uh, we got Anubis. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm working through this in my own head. We got Anubis. Is Anubis A, the Egyptian god of the dead? B, the Roman god of assault? C, the Greek god of the unwell? Or D, the Roman god of objectives? <laughs> the Egyptian god of the dead. A. That's not bad. That was an easy one. Uh, yeah. we, we gave you that one. We yeah. gave you that well one. Well done. This one will be hard, I'm sure. Yeah, we really probably, because oh, I'm illiterate. So yeah. it's going to be difficult for both of us. <laughs> okay. All right. We have Shu up next. Actually, Shu. God. Yes. Shu, the Roman god of harmony. Mm. The Egyptian god of sleep. Mm. The Greek god of hogs. Mm. Or the Egyptian god of the air. Mm. A. A. D. You fell, for the, what? Yeah. you fell for the harmony orb trick. I yeah, liked I it. The pun <laughs> I thought board. it was like a Ceiling clever thing. Have you seen on Anubis, honestly, guys? <laughs> All right. Fainted. Monty's freaking out right now. Who <laughs> is the god of Overwatch? Is it A, Am God? Is it B, Gods? <laughs> is it C, Gods B? Is that Beelzebub? Or is it D, Jeff Kaplan? Me. Which one is that? Gods? gods is B? it Gods? Is, is it answer B? It is. No! <laughs> Jeff from the Overwatch question, team. By the way. Good try, guys. Good try, buddy. Eight question. I've only seen Jeff win in his games. Oh. 